everyone, and thanks for tuning into your natural health right here on News 12 New Jersey. As local as local news gets, I'm Dr. Derek De Silva, a practicing internist with an interest in complementary medicine. You know, medicine today is quite diverse, and the world of natural medicine, the world of pharmaceuticals, are two very important facets in total patient care. Yet, they don't always work in harmony. Well, on this program, we attempt to bring together what I call the best of both worlds. We're talking about a trend of taking a myriad of alternative or complementary therapies and putting them under one roof. Isabel Dassinger is the director of the Healing Zone based in Montclair. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much for having me. My pleasure. Tell me a little bit about yourself mm -hmm. and how you got interested in this whole wonderful field of, of integrative and complementary therapies. Sure. I, I started about 15 years ago and at that point in time I was working with a company called Spa Health Consultant and a pioneer in aesthetics named Mickey Junta and she had brought a lot of the uh, philosophy of European spas to America and the idea of using plants to create about to create detoxification and remineralization to more or less balance inside the body in order to produce great looking skin and a great looking body. And so I worked with her for many years, and that started me on the way to understanding the, the link between how you look and, and the health of you, your, your health inside. A lot of people, and this is where I think a lot of people mm -hmm. make the mistake, is, you know, we'll go to an esthetician, and we'll talk a little mm -hmm. bit about who an esthetician is, or right. even your, your hairdresser. Mm -hmm. And a lot of hair salons are doing facials and things like sure. that. And they get their facial, which I think is a good thing. But what are they missing? And, and, and that's kind of what you touched on mm -hmm. is the stuff on the inside. The Talk to me about inside. that. Well, you know, it's inter anything from acne to dry skin patches to discoloring of the skin. All these things usually have an internal cause. Uh, some t it's called usually a root cause. So rather than treat the symptom, which and oftentimes a lot of people do with a lot of the skin care and body care that they do, it's important to understand that we need to correct the, the cause, what's, ca what's, what's creating this external symptom, because otherwise it becomes a very frustrating experience and, it, and you don't really ever get get to the point of seeing the complete change. It's temporary at right, best. Right. Talk to me about some of those causes. What, what have you seen in your experience that mm -hmm. are some of these causes? Well, a lot of things, interesting enough, ha have to do with digestion. A lot of things go back to the foods that we eat and how we process them. And then that is uh, compromised by the stress that we're under. Because if we're under a lot of stress, what happens is the foods don't get properly digested or people eat while they're running or people eat while they're talking. And so a lot of those things happen. And when the body is not cleansed, when it doesn't have an, a f an internal flow that keeps things moving they back up and they'll show up on this on the face um, oftentimes a lot of small pustules on the forehead have to do directly with digestion and stress um, areas around the chin have to do with um, uh, gyno gynecological problems um, l sometimes we call them blind pustules they're just areas that fill up with fluids all the time mm -hmm. that's a hormonal imbalance that's symptomat symptomatic of um, darkness and hollow in the cheeks have to do with lungs. A lot of that comes from Chinese medicine. It's very, very age old and it's more or less following and understanding that your, your face is a map and it'll show you where the problems are if you learn to, to look for them. One of the things that, that, I have, that I have told patients and I've told people even on this program is your skin is a mirror That's right. of what you look on the inside, mm -hmm. what you look like in your intestine. Absolutely. I mean, it's pretty much what you just yes. said. And also your body, you know, the, the, the shape of your body, um, things like cellulite, abdominal distension, uh, loss of elasticity in the skin, whether it's on the face or the body, they're all, re all re telling you the same story mm -hmm. one way or another. Do people believe that? Yeah, they do. Once you explain it to them, especially when, you, when you're talking to somebody and you tell them, if you look at somebody and you're able to give them information that's, that's specific to them that's right, from that point on, they're very willing to listen to what you have to say. And have you seen trends changing? I mean, I, I would imagine your, your center is called the Healing Zone. Mm -hmm. How long have you been in existence? Well, we're just starting our second year now. And have you seen a transformation even in two years with people that you, you know, people maybe when they came to you two years ago or just in your business that you were doing 15 years ago, mm -hmm. people probably went to 
places like this for one reason and today they're coming for a different reason. Have you seen that evolution? Yeah, oh, absolutely. It's, it's the whole industry is changing. The, the, uh, the Medi Spa, the, the merging of the more uh, medical uh, treatments with a more comfortable ambiance right. of a spa and people will come there because oftentimes people might come to to look better or have a healthy aging program at, or anti-aging depending mm -hmm. on how you, how you feel about right. it right. and uh, they're looking to find ways to be the best and the strongest that they can be and so with that there's a lot of things that they need to do internally, internally. again to create that strength and that and the balance that they need especially now with stress and what it's doing to immune systems oh. and all the yeah. All of the stuff with stress, and I want to come back to that. Mm -hmm. In fact, we're going to take a very short pause. And folks, when we get back, what I'd like to do is I'd like to come back to the whole idea of what stress does to our system. How do we manage it, and what do we do about it? You stay with us. We'll be right back. I'm Dr. Derek De Silva, along with Isabel Dassinger of the Healing Zone in Montclair. We were talking, by the way, thank mm -hmm. you very much for this is a little bit of a hike for you getting nah, down here. No, it was easy. Not too bad? Parkway. Parkway makes everything easy. Well, especially Jersey. at this time during the <laughs> yeah, day, so it's true. not a problem. Talk to me a little bit about stress. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, I, I shouldn't say that. I know very few people that are really not under a lot about, of stress. Right. Most people today yeah. are very stressed. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what do we do about it? What yeah. do you, let, let me ask, what do, what do, do you do? What do you do? I think that that we do a few things. We start with understanding. No, no, no I asked you. Tell me what you do. Personally, what do you personally do to manage stress? I do yoga. Okay. And I do. Um, I have a. I try to work with a self hypnosis. Good. Just to quickly just bring myself down and also breathing. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I I do do this uh, breathing where I just try and even just sitting still and concentrating on my breath for three minutes is amazing. I can run on hours with that. And if I don't, I find myself almost not even breathing hours later. My breath is so shallow unless I stop. Tell, show everybody how to do that. What, <laughs> what is it that, no, I'm serious. Okay. I mean, there are people that are watching okay. this program right now mm -hmm. and it's, you know, they're, they're flipping through the channels and they're just doing this okay. stuff. What can we do for them now? Okay, this is as this far is, as a breathing. Th this is um, one that um, Dr. Resnick, who who is uh, going to be a speaker, he told me to do this just the other day, and he said that that to breathe, to exhale, to make the emphasis on the exhale breath rather than the inhale breath, and they don't have them even. So to take a regular breath, inhale, and then exhale to the count of nine, and to do it nine times. And in the first time that you're doing it. It, it, even to get to nine with the exhale, you're at six and you, you're trying to push it to nine. But by the time you're on the fifth breath, you, your, your exhale is really matching that nine count. And, by, and so to just do that, because he said when you breathe in, you're stimulating the nervous system. When you breathe out, you're destimulating it or relaxing. you're relaxing it. So, and that's something that I used to always breathe in really deep and then breathe out light. Yeah, he <sighs> said, and it breathe out real right, fast. Right, he said to do it the other way because then you'll find at the end of that nine breaths that then you, that you're, you're just at a, at a much better pace. And Excellent. that's a very simple thing. And so I've that's been doing something it. that you do. And that's you something do yoga that I've been and you doing. do yourself uh -huh. I've been doing yoga. And, and I also try to do, uh, you know, meditate. I'm a, I'm a pure spiritual person, so I recognize the importance of, of adding that into my day whenever I can, just an awareness Excellent. of it. And, and uh, you know. And the role that all of that stuff and plays. The role that all Talk that to me a little bit plays. about what you do with regard to perhaps your center. Uh, you, you were telling me about some programs that mm -hmm. you have. What is it that you do? Well, what we do is we try to first, when somebody comes in, we try to do two things. We try to understand their personality mm -hmm. as to what program is going to be effective for them rather than just having the same program for everyone. You know, it's, it, what, is this person disciplined or is this person not disciplined? You can't give a person that has no discipline a program that requires an immense amount of discipline without working to help them regain or find some of that discipline through some of the more mental exercises. Right. So, it, and then we also uh, uh, need to understand what they eat and the way that their body metabolizes those foods because everybody is everybody is different and we, we treat everybody as an individual when they come in we understand you know uh, what they eat how often they eat what their body type is then also we have uh, 
we look for nutritional programs that have very uh, high delivery systems. Years ago, supplements uh, were not manufactured the way they are. There's a, they're much better quality and they really get to the source. So when you're using plants and things like that now mm -hmm. to, to help the body recover, they're much more effective than they ever have been. So you can make great strides with that. Um, we also use hypnosis because uh, oftentimes, especially with our weight management program, if, a, if you don't understand why a person is overeating or not eating the proper foods, even myself, I know that certain things I shouldn't eat, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and I still go ahead and do it. H how is this whole thing related, though? I mean, th th a big percentage, let's say 95, 90% of the population mm -hmm. is stressed. Right. 60, I think 70%, 60 or 70% of the population is overweight. Right. And, and there are, I don't know how many million women that are menopausal and men right. that are andropausal, mm -hmm. meaning their testosterone That's levels right. are dropping. Hormones. So h how is all of this tied together or is it tied together? Well, it's t I think that one of the things that's important is getting information, okay, the proper Abil the ability to, to get the right information. From the person. From the person, okay. okay? So that's, that's whether it's a, uh, you know, a, um, any type of doctor. You know, sometimes when you go in for traditional medicine, there is no information right. getting, you know, it's a mm -hmm. person's own interpretation of what their symptoms are and, and you're in and out. So the two hour intake is a big, big piece of what we have now. So there's the getting the information, there's the edu and the educating the person. Now, um, one of the things that we've added is the understanding of the body as energy. And, you know, it, sometimes energy that's almost seized, you know, in a, and, and not moving at all. A person's just so tight with stress mm -hmm. that their body's not even functioning. So um, we have uh, energy workers, uh, healers. Reiki. Reiki. Reiki, but a little step above, not, uh, sorry, not a step above, a, a, a more in-depth, more clinical. We I try see. to be clinical. So we try to have the person that's working, um, I don't mean to say that clinical, but I, I think we try to, to it, look at it a, as medicine. Right, right, I mean, right, taking right, it right. More another, therapeutic, if you will. More therapeutic, okay. more therapeutic. And, uh, you know, identifying how, wh how, what a person's belief system is, because if a person um, uh, believes that by being quiet and visualizing they're, they're going to be able to, to get well, it, it's much more effective than if a person is resistant to right. it. So sometimes we need to open a door uh, and so and offering them, I guess, some alternatives. Alternatives. Chant, uh, chanting versus uh, versus quiet relaxation right. and meditation. Understanding who they exactly. We have to understand what's going to work for them. I see. So that's the biggest. I think that's the thing that makes us the most different. Is we we have an awful lot of of choices. Different not not a lot of, but we have choices because people are different. Right. And you customize for we what customize they have to do. We customize for them. When we come back, mm -hmm. what I'd like to talk with you about are helping people understand what is dermabrasion, what okay. is a photofacial, Fine. how often do we need to do That's facials, good. because it sounds like, sure. I mean, I see you smiling when I even <laughs> talk about that. We'll be back in just a bit, folks. I'm Dr. Derek De Silva. Stick around. Thanks for staying here, right here with us on Your Natural Health, right here on News 12 New Jersey, as local as local news gets. But By the way, I want to give you um, Ms. Dassinger's number in case you need to contact her. It's 973-746-33. 34. Once again, 973-746-3334. Also, if you'd like to go to their website, it's www.healingzone.net. Mm -hmm, yes, it's you. .net, not .com. It's .net. www.healingzone.net. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about beauty. Some beauty. Yes, I mean, mm -hmm. it's everybody, even men. Mm -hmm. Aren't men as getting now as bad as the women? 30% of our clientele is, are men. Do you do facials on men? We do. We do facials on men. Uh, men love um, microdermabrasion. Yes. They, they love it. It's what is microdermabrasion? Tell me what a, that is. Um, it's a sandblasting of the face, to, to, to put it simply, but very, very mild. But the idea is if you see an old building and, you know, and you, then you see, see it restored, it hasn't been marred, it hasn't been scratched, it's just been re just re Rest restored. Yeah. And so microdermabrasion in its, in its form is a very adjustable way of, of rejuvenating the skin surface and stimulating a lot of collagen beneath. And a lot of these non-invasive, that's what they're called now, non-invasive approaches uh, to aesthetics, uh, photo rejuvenation, uh, lifting and toning, uh, and um, even some of the, the very simple or 
more gentle lasers. Mm -hmm. And the, the premise that they work on is to rejuvenate at a cellular level. A lot of times before, the, the treatments were very, again, on the surface. Mm -hmm. And now what we have is we have the ability through this technology to stimulate below the surface and in the dermal level without getting actually down getting there. down there. Right. Just through the technology, whether it's light technology mm -hmm. or stimulating, we are able to, to, to stimulate at that cellular level so that we rebuild the collagen and we create a healthier environment for the skin cells as mm -hmm. they move up. And what's the, the, the difference is, is it's now we have the ability to be repetitive. And that's what we never had before. So that Repetitive in what sense? You can have a microdermabrasion treatment once a week, once every two weeks. You can have photo rejuvenation once a week, once every I two see. weeks, uh, lifting and toning twice a week. So it's the ability to put these mechanisms back into a skin that's getting old without creating any kind of trauma and do it over and over and over again so we're almost mechanically. Now do you also approach this though, let's say somebody gets a microdermabrasion mm -hmm. or right. they get a photofacial or they get a lifting. Do you do something else? Do you do peels and wraps mm -hmm. and do mm -hmm. you suggest they take nutrients like mm -hmm. fish oils and coenzyme Q10? We're going to. We're going to. You can come in, you can just get a facial and feel great about it. We pamper you and we do wonderful uh, hands-on. I mean, hands this is a on. spa, right? It's, it's, a, it's a medi you, spa. It's a medi spa. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's a medi spa. And I actually didn't call it a spa in the beginning because I, I want to be taken very serious for mm -hmm. our integrative medicine program that we're going to have. But we, we do do spa treatments and we'll pamper and we have wonderful um, uh, healing techniques that mm -hmm. we try to we weave into it. Our facials are very restorative. Our body wraps are very detoxing so that when you're on a program and right. restoring your health, the, 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 the spa treatments work along with it. But we pamper you. You know what, talk to me about that because mm -hmm. I've heard that and, and I know a lot of people have asked this question. What about the body wraps? The, oh, the seaweed body wraps, wraps. Yeah, the best. Do they, I mean, do they, what do they Absolutely. do? Absolutely. How do the they work? The seaweed, well, what happens with the seaweed is that the, the seaweed is the best that you can have in a, in a body wrap. A plant therapy, phytotherapy is, is great. Mm -hmm. When you mix the land plants and the sea plants, it's the best of both worlds. But the algaes in particular. <laughs> See, they're calling me already. Your <laughs> spa's you calling me because they want me to do it. They want me to do that. You're anyway, coming. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So the, um, the wraps, though, the, there's so many different kinds of algaes, and some of them are remineralizing and others detox but what they do is because of the you know with seawater and blood plasma the similarity is just uh, amazing the right. chemical so the body very very readily absorbs the seawaters and the algaes in and the seaweed has a ability to chelate just like when um, uh, in uh, Chernobyl years mm -hmm. ago it was everybody needed to take a lot of seaweed, a lot of algae. Right. It's because it has the ability to chelate like a magnet. It's kind of a detoxifier it also, It is a right? detoxifier because right. it, the, the toxins attach mm -hmm. and then are flushed out through the lymph system. And is that how the wrap works? I mean, well, you, you put the wrap, you, 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 you're coated with the, the seaweed right. and then you're wrapped like a mummy. Mm -hmm. Uh, for half an hour or so and then uh, you finish you take a, a shower don't use soap because you don't want to wash wash those minerals right. off come back in you get a finishing cream but we're going to get into some either even uh, more exploratory things with our wraps we're going to try and have uh, wraps that combine um, uh, restoring detoxing uh -huh. even like a um, I'm looking for some Native American recipe so you could have almost a, I have like some a vision ideas quest. For you. Do you have you one for me for that? Do I thought that would be nice. Th that is. I mean, it depends. For example, in the Tucson area, mm -hmm. they have very specialized wraps. Right. I was in Maui. Yeah. Uh, I was in Hawaii mm -hmm. you know, over the summer, and they also had very specialized things that are indigenous to the area, right. which is really We're going to bring them all in. We'll, we'll make them all, all indigenous to exactly. New Jersey. So w we're running out of time. Sure. Uh, give me a 30-second wrap-up, please. On, on putting all of this together? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that basically what we ha people need to look at when they want to become healthy again is, is that it's a mind and it's a body and, it's a s and there's a spirit. And all three of them impact the health, all three of them impact the immune system, the quality of life. And it's through the process of understanding th each individual's own components and finding out the best way to keep themselves healthy that they can have the, the fullest and most fruitful life. Thank you very much, Isabel You're Glassinger. Welcome. And Thank folks, you. she's from the Healing Zone. The healing zone. Their phone number, 973-746-3334. Website, healingzone.net. I thank you very much for joining me. God bless you all. And until next time, may you always be blessed with good health. Mm.